signals and sending the result to one remote or set of electrodes. But can you do this without a spooky boost? Yes, you can, if you have two BNC to alligator clips cables. Every 5M generator comes from the factory with one. If you have more than one generator, you can use a second cable. You can also buy these at electronics stores, or make one yourself. By doing this, you can apply a constant amplitude of up to 20 volts in contact mode treatments, doubling the voltage squares its power. So you get four times the power, thanks to inverse plus sync. Here's how, connect both cables to outer and out two. Now separate the red clips from the black ones we won't be connecting the black clips, so you can wrap each one in paper masking tape. Now connect one red clip to a spooky tube electrode, and do the same for the other red clip, each red clip should be attached to an electrode. By connecting in this way, you're about to enable a true bipolar signal, which give an additional fourfold increase in power. Back to contents, 95, now, depending on when you bought your XM generator, you may have one simple extra step to complete. Models sold from about two weeks after the range was launched will automatically synchronize both their outputs when you select inverse plus sync or spike plus sync in Spooky 2. So if you bought yours after that time, you can skip this step. See here for help with identification. If you were an early adopter, simply enter the following key sequence on the generator's front panel, CH2, F5, F5, Sync, TF. NB, after you've finished your inverse plus sync session, you must enter the exact same key sequence again to desynchronize the outputs and return the generator to normal use. Later models automatically desynchronize when you reselect follow out 1. Follow out LJ now select inverse plus sync. C spike plus sync I, liter by inch verse plus S knee J low, JYR program. But before you click the start button, please make sure you check this BOX in the program options pane. Reqs amplitude 10 kHz backslash Y degree you don't, and there's a low frequency somewhere in your program, you're going to have a very close encounter with your ceiling, because at this amplitude, low frequencies are going to bite hard enough to make you jump like a steeplechaser. So you can imagine what this kind of power is going to do to pathogens. NB, for standard electrodes, use a second BNC to dual banana adapter on out 2, and connect both electrodes to the red sockets. Inverse plus sync makes an amplifier unnecessary for all but the most serious problems. But there's more, isn't there always with Spooky 2? Because the implementation of inverse plus sync also enabled something very special indeed. Originally, I called it the chainsaw wave thanks to my writer's flair for the dramatic. I've calmed down a bit since, so I can discuss it sensibly now. Up to this, we've only mentioned using inverse plus sync in contact mode. But note that this can be used in remote mode too. Back to contents 96, back to contents, in order for you to understand it clearly, I want to show you what happens to the waveforms on outer and out 2 when the three different options at the bottom of the list are selected. In all three cases, the waveform is the default damped sinusoidal. On the left, follow outal is selected. This means that the signal on outal is copied exactly to out2. You can see this clearly because the red and blue waveforms are identical. Over the first peak, both waves m of a from 0 to plus 10 at the same time, so the total energy from this positive peak is 10 volts from each output. In this second example, the only difference is that I've selected inverse plus sync instead of follow out all. At first glance, the red and blue waveforms don't appear to have changed. But look closer, the blue one is no longer an exact copy of the red one. Instead, it's a reversed mirror image of it. Over the first peak, the red wave moves from 0 to plus 10 at the same time as the blue wave moves from 0 to minus 10. This means that the total energy from this positive peak is now 20 volts from each output, since the difference between minus 10 and plus 10 is 20. 97, and this piece of electronic wizardry explains how an initial 10 volt signal on out 1 can become a 20 volt wallet when you use two outputs coupled with inverse plus sync. 
but something rather different happens to the wave on out 2 when you select spike plus sync and put a tick in its invert waveform checkbox to the right. For every subwave in the composite waveform and there are 11 as you can see from the X field Spooky 2 injects one high voltage spike at every positive and negative peak on out 2. These spikes are extremely powerful and can be tailored to your liking. When the new Spooky amplifier is released, inverse plus sync and spike plus sync will come into their own, enabling true reversible electroperation. For now, using them in treatments provides a unique and very powerful way to hammer the living daylights out of even the toughest pathogen or parasite. For certain acute or very advanced conditions where time is of the essence, however, the spooky amplifier will be indispensable, and will deliver rapid and effective electroperation, puncturing pathogen cells walls to kill in milliseconds, and opening up cancer cells so that rife frequencies can destroy them quickly. As you can see, the software end is already in place and working. So expect an announcement on the hardware shortly. Now I need to show you how to sculpt and control all this awesome power, so I'll start with the chainsaw wave graphic that John used to introduce in verse plus sync to the world. Back to contents 98, FLALWVWWVV, F2 equals F1X, Hertz 0, waveform, spike spectrum length ratio percent. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 25, 11, BXBY, JBXBY, follow out or spike plus SVNC, R, R, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, B, 1, R add FI to F2, inverse plus sync count 0, dash, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, plus spike spike, zero, 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 zero. This is one single cycle of a damped sinusoidal that's been transformed into a chainsaw wave. As you can see, there are an awful lot of spikes, 50, to be precise, 25 of them positive and 25 negative. The number of spikes is controlled by the number of subwaves that make up the composite wave, 25 is entered in the X field. Spike length controls the length of time the spike is applied for, 2 is a good value for frequencies over 10,000 Hz, and 1 for frequencies lower than this. Spike ratio dictates how powerful the spike amplitude is in relation to the rest of the waveform. To demonstrate these controls more clearly, I'll use something a little less confusing to the eye, a plain sine wave, back to contents, 99, a slash back slash a a a, y v v slash v, backslash a, y v y y y, v y backslash a, waveform, spike length ratio, i m m m m i m w a, b x b y, b x b y, 1, 1, 1, 1, 11, 11, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, F2 equals FIX 1 hertz 0 degrees Celsius follow out or spike plus SVNC. R. Plus spike FV. Spike, R add FI to F2. Inverse plus sync count 0, spectrum, percent, 0, 0, 0, 0. Here's our sine wave, composed of 5 subwaves, X equals 5. There's a voltage spike at each positive and negative peak, plus spike and spike are both ticked, and each one is transmitted for two timed units, spike length equals 2. Spike ratio is set to 2, which means that the amplitude of each spike is twice that of the overall waveform. You can see that the curved wave only rises and falls halfway to the top and bottom of the window, but each spike goes all the way. Now let's try changing the spike length and spike ratio so you can see the difference these make. Back to contents, 100. Here I've changed the spike length to 16 and the spike ratio to 8 so you can clearly see what's going on. The physical width of each spike, which is the left to right time axis, has obviously increased, and the height of the underlying parent wave, which is the vertical amplitude axis, has decreased, but the spike's height, amplitude, has remained the same. Note that a spike length of 16 as shown wouldn't be a good value to enter because high voltage would be applied for longer, this would be painful. 
I've used this value simply to demonstrate how the waveform's shape changes in response. OK, so what do the other spike controls do? Back to contents, 101, C, F2 equals FIX add FI to F2, Hertz, C, waveform, spike spectrum, length ratio percent, backslash, backslash, backslash R, BXBY, JBXBY, follow out all spike plus sync, inverse plus sync, a 51680, a 1020, a 1020, a 1020, a 1020, a 1020, a the only thing I've changed is the spike count. Spooky2 now gives me the number of spikes I want, 5. If I want spikes on every peak, I don't have to count those peaks, and then enter the result. Entering 0 for spike count will do it automatically for me. Why would I want this? Well, it should keep pathogens off balance, giving them much less chance to get into the rhythm. Back to contents, 102, J. F2 equals FIX add FI to F2, Hertz 0, waveform, spike spectrum, length ratio percent, ILIPW mwege, BXBY, JBXBY, follow out all spike plus sync, inverse plus sync, a 51680, a 1020, a 1020, a R1602, R1020, J1020, I, plus spike, RP, spike, count 5, same settings here as before, except now I've chosen not to transmit any spikes on the negative peaks. I still have a total of 5 spikes because the missing negative ones have now been added to the positive spike count to make it up to 5. Why would I do this? Because I like to experiment. It's the best way for me to learn more about rifing, and because Spooky2 empowers me to do just this. If you've been following along with me by entering these values in your own Spooky2, you'll have seen that when inverse plus sync is selected, out2 control grays out. This is because out2 copies and inverts the wave on out1, but uses the same frequencies. Back to contents, 103, now here's an interesting twist, instead of inverse plus sync, I've selected spike plus sync. Take a look at the blue wave on out 2, the parent waveform is no longer being generated, just the spikes. This means that all the power of out 2 is being used for those spikes, and none for the underlying waveform. Plus, I've inverted the entire spike waveform on out 2 by putting a tick in the checkbox to the right of the spike plus sync text. As you can see from the output waveform, not only have I avoided spike cancellation by doing this, I've also greatly increased the power of my spikes. Back to contents, 104, here's another example of how to do spike plus sync correctly using John's original example of an inverse plus sync damped sinusoidal wave. This is what it looks like when you set it to spike plus sync instead of inverse plus sync. Again, out 2 looks pretty formidable. But prior to the introduction of the inverts waveform control, all those fearsome spikes cancelled each other out and we were left with a very wimpy wave. No longer. As you can see from the output waveform pane, we now have a fearsome chainsaw wave that's ready to do some serious pathogen damage. But that's not all, the inverts waveform system is even more flexible, back to contents, 105, F2 equals F1x, Hertz. Add FI to F2, 2, AR, ARA, 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 R, 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 E, C. 1, 2, AR, ARA, 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 R, 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 E, C. Waveform, BXBY, follow out all spike plus sync inverse plus sync, spike length ratio, 16, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, spectrum percent, 0, 0, plus spike, F spike, count 5, 
F2 equals F1 X Ariad F I to F2, Hertz, Waveform, I, W, R, 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 BX BY, BX BY, follow out all spike plus sync inverse plus sync, R, 5, 1, 1, 1, 1, 11, 11, 16, 16, 1, 1, spike length ratio, 16, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, spectrum percent, 0, 0, plus spike, F spike, count 5, back to contents, I've returned to our earlier example of a sine wave so you can see this clearly. This image shows our sine wave on out altogether with the spikes we've added via its spike length slash spike ratio controls. Spike plus sync is selected, and its invert waveform box is ticked. In most cases, this is exactly what you want. But you can invert every waveform in the list, not just the spike plus sync one. Here, we've chosen to invert the sine wave instead of the spike plus sync wave by ticking its invert waveform box, and sticking the spike plus sync box. If you compare the output waveform panes in both images, you can clearly see the two different output signals, they are mirror images of each other. Now that's what I call taking control. 106, the Spooky2 interface, Spooky2 March 1, 2015, C, John White, Phi Database Global or Inutils Advanced MSNU. And P1, Search, Clear, February 28, 2015, 1737 and 30 seconds database. Prof, Bio, Vega, minus 1. Carf, XTRAV Cust, V Rife, HC, KHZ, Alt, J, Abdominal Cramps XTRA, Abdominal Inflammation CAFL, Abdominal Pain CAFL, Abdominal Pain XTRA, Abscess No Cardia Asteroid XTRA Abscesses 2 XTRA, Abscesses 3 XTRA, Abscesses Secondary CAFL, 72, 95,190,304, 2720, 2489, 2170, 18 euro 5, 1800, 1 euro 00, 15508 808 328 77 euros, 727. 604654504444042838 euros, 146,125, 95, 72, 20, 1, 10,000, 3,000, 95, 3, 1580270.500.450.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.100.250.
3, out 2 control out 2 equals, out 1 out 2 equals, out 1 1 copy gate, x1, plus 0, x1, volts, stop when all t1 stop spike, hertz, spectrum, 1 or 2 a CCRR a waveform x1 1 1 1 1 1 11 length ratio 0 2 0 2 0 2 0 2 0 2 0 2 0 0 pound i r r a 1 r f r c r 11 0 2 1 r v t v a 16 0 2 a 1 1 a 16 0 2 a b x b y 1 0 2 0 a b x b y j r 1 0 2 0 a follow out a f7 plus spike, r spike plus sync w7, spike, j add f i to f2 j r j r inverse plus sync count 0, x, 0 slash 6369, channel 0 program patient name, allow channel overwrites email message, lr, email, s, enable emails, u, 4, send email, 3, 0%, pc, 0%, J, G C, 1, C H, 3, D X W 680, R X, OC, T E, 0, W E, 0, R E, 0, C E, 0, L E, 0, P O 0, P 1 0, P 2 0, P 3 0, P 4 0, 1, menu bar 2, conditions and database. 3, program options 4, channel, S and user data pane. 5. Status bar. Back to contents, 107, menu bar, a file database global online utils advanced menu help j spooky 2 has 7 menus which allow quick access to vital functions. Click on any blue link below to go to that section. File. This menu offers commands for various file operations, like creating new frequency sets, reading or saving settings files, and loading new waves. It also allows you to exit Spooky2. Database. This menu features commands that allow you to select a different database on disk from the one currently load, edit either the main or your custom database, and to load those edits into Spooky2. Global. The global menu's commands allow you to control all generators in your rig at the same time you can start, pause, hold, and stop everything all at once. Online, choosing a command from this menu will launch your web browser and take you to various Spooky2 connected websites. Utils, you'll find six very useful commands in this menu, allowing you to install drivers, re-establish communication with offline generators, relate generators to port numbers, and identify patients. Advanced menu, you won't find a list of commands in this menu. Instead, Clicking it opens the advanced menu where you can set all sort of important things, then forget about them. Help, for very good reasons, there are no help related commands in this menu. Instead, you can see the people who helped make Spooky2 what it is today, and find out which version you're running. Advanced menu, so let's start with the file menu and take a look at all its commands. Back to contents, 108, file database global online utils. Create frequency set create spectrum sweep, restore original default saver startup default, refresh waveforms, exit, CTRL plus S, advanced menu help pair, I, 9190304, 20, 2489, 58,231,237,694,7,20,2170,1865,15 20, greater than 20, 2170,1865,15,550,802,760,660, CTRL plus X, 1. Create and save your own frequency sets. File database global online utils, create frequency set create spectrum sweep, restore original defaults, save as startup default CTRL plus S, refresh waveforms, exit CTRL plus X, advanced menu help here, 1, 9 million 190,304 greater than 20, 2489, 2170, 18, 000, 
7 greater than 20, 2170, 1865, 15 greater than 20, 2170, 1865, 15 660, 3. Restores Spooky 2's original factory default settings. Back to contents, file database global online utils advanced menu help, create frequency set ILEA, create spectrum sweep S. 9190, 304 20, 2489, 2170, 18 1000, 3000, 95, 3, 3 100, 10,000 3 billion 231 million 237 thousand 694, July 20, 2170, 1865, 15, 20, 2170, 1865, 15, 50,802, 760, 660, 1, restore original default saver startup default CTRL plus S, refresh waveforms exit CTRL plus X, 2, create and save your own spectrum sweep programs, file database global online utils advanced menu help, create frequency set, create spectrum sweep, restore original defaults, Save as startup default CTRL plus S, refresh waveforms, exit, CTRL plus X, here K1, 1, 9, 190, 304 greater than 20, 2489, 2170, 18000, 3000, 95, 3, 3 greater than 00, 10058 billion 231 million 237 thousand 694, 7 greater than 20, 2170, 1865, 15 greater than 20, 2170, 1865, 15 F. 50,802,760,660. 4. Save the current settings as Spooky 2 Startup Default. 109. File Database Global Online Utils Advanced Menu Help. Create Frequency Set Create Spectrum Sweep R, Restore Original Default Saver Startup Default, CTRL plus S, Refresh Waveforms R, Exit ICTRL plus X, File Database Global Online Utils Advanced Menu Help, Create Frequency Set Create Spectrum Sweep Restore Original Default Saver Startup Default CTRL plus S here, 9190320, 2489, 2170, 13 1000, 3000, 95, 3, 3 100, 10,000, 8 billion 231 million 237 thousand 694, 7, 20, 2170, 13 65, 15, 20, 2170, 18 65, 59 greater than 50,802, 760, 660, Refresh Waveforms, Exit CTRL plus X. 5. Reloads all custom waveforms into Spooky 2. 6. Quit Spooky 2. The Red X also does the same job. The first two commands in the file menu open new windows in which we can create different kinds of frequency sets. The first, which opens when we choose Create Frequency Set, allows us to create our own frequency set and add it to our custom database. It can consist of a single frequency, or a list. It can be a linear ascending or descending sweep, or even a mix of single frequencies and sweeps. We can assign a single default dwell to all frequencies, or we can specify a different dwell for each. We can even insert simple code at any point that will tell Spooky2 to switch to a different waveform, turn the gate on or off change the amplitude or offset, positive or negative, and we can alter the phase angle of the output. We can even, instead of a frequency, enter a wavelength of light, and Spooky2 will convert it to the highest subharmonic possible. Then we can add our own notes, name, and save it. The second command, create spectrum sweep, lets us create three different kinds of spectrum sweep, 
similar to the very powerful Spooky Spectrum Sweep and Spooky Converge Sweep. Just enter start and end frequencies, plus a few other important details, name your sweep, then save it. When you select it for use, you'll see the settings you must enter in its additional notes. Back to contents, 110, 1. This is the window that opens when you choose the Create Frequency Set command from the File menu. Back to Contents, 111, Spooky2 allows you to enter an unlimited number of your own frequency sets into a custom database. The Create Frequency Set screen contains comprehensive instructions. We'll reproduce them here in a moment so you can appreciate fully how much power you have when you write your own frequency sets, and print them out if you wish. I Program name, program name, click in the field and type your program name. Give it a good descriptive one so you'll be able to identify it in a search list. Something like Cancer Throat Sweep 20 is good because it will show in searches for Cancer, Throat, and Sweep. You can substitute 20 with your own initials, a numeral, or leave it out entirely. It's your choice. Frequencies, now we come to enter the frequencies. You can either type them in, or copy and paste them all at once from another document. In all cases, each frequency in the set must be separated by a comma, with no spaces, otherwise Spooky2 will report an error, and name the offending frequency set, when your custom database is next loaded or you try to load the program you've just entered. So please check all the information you've entered here very carefully before finalizing your entry. You can also enter a plethora of very powerful commands in this field along with your frequencies. We'll deal with entering these commands in a moment. I, I, dwell backslash dwell, this is the amount of time in seconds you wish to transmit each frequency in your set for. If you're unsure of what this should be, 180 seconds is a good default. Note that you can specify individual frequency deviations from this default by entering a simple command, shown later. Back to contents 112, additional notes, you can use field this to add notes to your program for any purpose. The text you enter here will be included in all Spooky2 searches, and will appear in the text area beneath the conditions list when you click on the set's name. Additional notes, I apostrophe, if you make a text you will mistake when entering a set, don't worry, you can edit it later by clicking the edit custom database button in the advanced menu. You can also choose to open your custom file in Notepad and edit it there. The commands list, the following commands are entered into the frequencies field at the point in your frequency sequence where you want them to take effect. Letters can be capitals or lowercase. XXXI, this is how you enter a sweep between two frequencies XXX stands for one frequency, and I for the other. If you want an ascending sweep, enter the lower frequency first, then type a hyphen, the sweep command, followed by the higher frequency. For a downward sweep, enter the higher frequency first, then a hyphen, and then the lower one. Equals XXX, for any frequencies, you can specify different dwells from the default you want applied to the rest. Just type an equal sign, the dwell command, followed by the dwell in seconds. Back to contents. Spooky2 allows you to select a different waveform for every frequency in your set if you wish. WX, after the frequency for which you want to use a different wave, just type W followed by the number of the wave as shown in the list below. Sine wave, 1 square wave, 2, sawtooth wave, 3, inverted sawtooth, 4, triangle wave, 5, damp sinusoidal, 6, damp square, 7, H-bomb sinusoidal, 8, H-bomb square, 9, the last four waveforms shown above are only available on the Spooky 2-5M generators, not on the UDB1108S. 113, if you wish to add a gate for some frequencies, no problem. GX, after the target frequency or command, type G followed by 1 to turn gating on, and G followed by 0 to turn it off. With a Spooky 2-5M generator only, you can boost or cut the amplitude, or output voltage. AX, after your target frequency or command, type A followed by the voltage you wish to use. The new generator also allows you to change the offset. 
ox, after your target, for positive offset type upper case O followed by the value desired as a percentage of amplitude rather than a voltage. For negative offset type lower case O. You can also change the phase angle of the output. Px, after your target, type P followed by the value you require. Lx, Spooky2 allows you to enter light wavelengths directly. Type L followed by your wavelength in nanometers, nm. Spooky2 will automatically convert this to the highest subharmonic frequency your generator is set up to transmit. Back to contents, codes example, you have six frequencies, 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, and 600. You want 100 and 200 to transmit for your default dwell of 3 minutes, and 300 to transmit for 10 minutes, all using a square wave with amplitude of 9 volts and an offset of 0. Enter, 100 w 2 a 9 200,300 equals 600, you then want 400 to sweep up to 450 over a period of 30 minutes using a sine wave. Add. 400 minus 450 equals 1800 WL, finally, you want 600 to use a square wave again for your default dwell. You also want an amplitude of 5 volts and a positive offset of 2.5 volts, which is 50% of the amplitude. Add, 600 w 2 a 50 so here's your entire string of frequencies and commands, 100 w 2 a 9 200,300 equals 600,400 minus 450 equals 1800 WL, 600 w 2 a 50 Some features and waveforms are only available on the Spooky 2-5M generator, not on the UDB1108S. 114, when you are happy with your newly created program, click the Save and Exit button and it will be written into your custom database. And remember, you can always go back and edit your programs in the database editor available from the database menu. If you wish to give back to the Spooky2 community, you can do so by ticking the box provided to email as your scan results for inclusion in an anonymous database that will be freely provided to all who need it. If you change your mind for some reason, you can simply click the cancel button. The manual program entry screen will close, leaving you back in Spooky2's main screen. Ayala copy to, save and exit, back to contents, frequency notes, 115, R, create spectrum sweep, spectrum applies many frequencies simultaneously. Here you may design your own spectrum sweep that covers a broad band of frequencies. Program name give your program a descriptive name. This will assist you when you do a program search. The program will be saved in the custom database. Spectrum low frequency 0, spectrum high frequency 3 million, frequency tolerance 0 0.025 degrees slash O, frequency application time 180 seconds, wave cycle multiplier 96x, frequency hits per sweep 1, hertz, hertz, create single spectrum sweep, uses out 1, C create dual converge sweep, uses both outs, R create dual weighted sweep, low frequency weighting, uses both outs, cancel, save and exit, spectrum sweep info, spectrum equals 100%, sweep start frequency equals 1,491,812.5 hertz sweep stop frequency equals 1,508,187.5 hertz frequency spacing equals 15,625 hertz total sweep duration equals 105 and 30 seconds sweep speed equals 4.16667 hertz per second spectrum amplitude equals 0.208 volts database entry view CUST 65.5 wave equals sine X equals 96 spectrum equals 100% 1,491,812.5-1,508,187.5 W1 GOA 2000-3929-2 This is the window that opens when you choose the Create Spectrum Sweep command from the File menu. This allows you to design and create your own spectrum sweeps based on the information you input. Program name, make searches easier with a meaningful name including something like spectrum, or sweep is a good idea. 
spectrum low frequency spectrum high frequency, enter your lower and higher sweep limits here. Example, Dr. Hugh de Clark found that the bandwidth for molds and mycotoxins was approximately 85,000 to 300,000 Hz. To build a spectrum sweep to target these, he'd enter 85,000 for spectrum low frequency and 300,000 for spectrum high frequency. Back to contents 116, frequency tolerance. This is the range above and below an organism's mortal oscillatory rate, MOR, in which a frequency will still be effective. Although Dr. Reif originally expressed this as a wavelength of light, it's generally accepted that a good rule of thumb is plus or minus 0.025% of the organism's MOR. However, larger values may generally be input for sweeps that are intended for purposes other than killing pathogens. Frequency application time, the amount of time in seconds you wish each MOR to be applied for, 180 is a reasonable value. Wave cycle multiplier, the number of subwaves that will create your sweep. We recommend using 96 or fewer. Note that setting a value here does not set it in the wave cycle multiplier field in the program options pane, this must still be set manually by you when you enter your settings for the program you're about to create. The value input here is solely for sweep calculation purposes. Frequency hits per sweep, the number of times during your sweep you wish each MOR to be applied. Sweep type buttons, you have three choices. Single, creates a single sweep that will use out only and will proceed from low to high frequency. Dual converge, creates a dual convergent sweep that will use out all and out too, requires connection to both outputs. These will proceed simultaneously from low to high, and from high to low. Dual weighted, creates a dual sweep, one weighted towards the lower frequency range, requires connection to both outputs. Both sweeps will proceed simultaneously from low to high. Spectrum sweep info shows necessary settings and other information for the spectrum sweep based on your input. To update it after changing a field, please select a sweep type. Database entry view, at the bottom of the screen, you see your custom spectrum sweep exactly as it will appear in your database. To update it after changing a field, please select a sweep type. Save and exit cancel buttons, when you're happy with your sweep, click save and exit. To discard your work, click Cancel. Back to Contents, 117, Database Menu. These four commands allow you to carry out various database file operations while Spooky2 is running, from selecting a different database to editing main and custom databases, then loading your edited work. File Database Global Online Utils Advanced Menu Help, Zark Select Database File Clear J. Edit Main Database Edit Custom Database Refresh Database ABDJ ABD 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 AFCS 72 9190304 2727 7 1. Opens a Windows File Navigation dialog to allow you to select and load a different database. File Database Global Online Utils Advanced Menu helps ARC select database file, clear, AFCD, AFCD, ABD, ABD, ABS, Edit Main Database Edit Custom Database, Refresh Database, 72, 9190304, 2720, 2489, 2170, 18, 10,000, 3,000, 95, 3, 3, 5,000, 10,000, 228, 231,237.694, 3. Opens your personal custom database in the database editor to allow you to make changes and save them. File Database Global Online Utils Advanced Menu helps ZARC select database file, clear, ABD, 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 AFCS, Edit Main Database Edit Custom Database, Refresh Database, 72, 9190304, 2720, 2489, 2170, 18, 10,000, 3000, 
95, 3, 3, 5,000, 10,000. 228,231,237,694 7 2 Open Spooky 2's main database in the built-in database editor so you can make changes and save them. File Database Global Online Utils Advanced Menu helps ARC select database file, clear, ABD, 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 ABS, Edit Main Database Edit Custom Database, Refresh Database. 72, 9,130,304, 9,120,24,89,21,70,18,10,000,3,000,95,3,3,5,10,000,228,200,31,237,694,7,4. After you've edited and saved a database file, Use this command to load your work into Spooky2. Back to Contents, 118, 2, and 3. The database editor has its own built-in help manual, so I don't propose to go into it here. And I must be honest and say that I find it needlessly complex for the task of editing what is really quite a simple database. So I never use it myself. Instead, I'm going to show you how I edit databases. This is how I prepare every new Spooky2 database update for general release, it's simpler, it's quicker, and it's a heck of a lot less confusing and cluttered. All you need is Notepad, the little text editor that comes standard with Windows. But first, before you do any editing, make a backup copy of the file you're going to work on. Back to Contents, 119, let's say I want to edit my custom database to add a cancer set. First. I navigate to my Spooky2 folder on C, Drive and open it. Then I right-click on the custom CSV file and choose Open with Notepad. I then select and copy all the following text, name, CUST, OO, add your own notes here. 123456, 654321, 180, the database files are in CSV format which stands for comma-separated values. This means that the different types of value in the frequency set, the name, sub-database, running time, additional notes, frequencies, and dwell, are all separated by commas, as you can see. The name, notes, and frequency values are each enclosed in double quote marks. OK, so why are there three commas before the 180? The first comma after the frequency's closing quote mark tells Spooky2 that the frequency list value is now complete, and it should interpret any characters between this comma and the next one as a new value. But there's nothing there, so Spooky2 looks for a value after the next comma. It finds none, so it continues beyond the last of the three commas, and finds 180, the dwell. The reason for this is that the database has two optional extra values which can be used to aid searching if desired, and some of the existing frequency sets use these values. The first one is system illness, and refers either to the part of the body affected or the general name of the condition, and the second one is manifestation, which either describes the physical result produced by the pathogen or illness, or the type of organism responsible for it. Open the frequencies CSV file and scroll to come down CAFL, system illness is skin, and manifestation is blackheads. So, since I'm adding a frequency set to tackle the cancer BX and by viruses, I could type cancer between the first and second of the three commas, and virus between the second and third commas. Or I can choose not to use these at all since a search for cancer will return the set in its results anyway. And this is what I've done. Note that this set is already present in the main database and is simply used here as an example. For clarity and ease, I navigate to the end of the file, place the cursor at the start of the blank line at the bottom, then choose Paste from the Notepad Edit menu. And this is what I get, back to contents 120, Test Custom, Notepad, 0. File Edit Format View Help, No GAU. Cust from Dr. Pankaj Mishra Universal Base Frequency. 1.14 inches 600 platinum, CUST from Dr. Pankaj Mishra. For bacteria, viruses, 
fungi 312 180 sulfur, CUST from Dr. Pankaj Mishra. For liver, bile, skin, wounds. 256 inches 180 vitami na defi sciency, CUST calf anecdotal. 2100, 9120, 15200, 23500, 33297, 28750, 26440, 22530381 vitamin B12 deficiency, cast calf anecdotal, use also for vitamin B deficiency. 50. 6,560,160 C Vitami N C Defi Sciency, C U S T C A F L Anecdotal. 2100, 11,680, 29,500, 23,750, 15,420, 34,065, 5,009, 39,375, 36 C Vitami N D Defi Sciency, CUSTCAFL anecdotal 2890, 3740, 9920, 33270, 40,000, 28750, 25000, 37 million 233340 C Vitami N Defi Sciency, A Vitami N C S, CUSTCAFL anecdotal 2400, 4420 7360, 15,000, 37,500, 33 name, CUST, OO, add your own notes here. 123,456, 654,321,180, 413. Now I select the word name, and type cancer BXB when it's place. The CUST value is fine since this is a custom set. The dwell for the single frequency in the set is 180 seconds, so I select the OO and type 3, this is the total running time in minutes. I select the notes text and type my own. I then select the placeholder frequencies and replace them with 782,937.42, test custom, notepad, at MSSM. File edit format view help. No GU, cast from Dr. Pankaj Mishra Universal Base Frequency. 1.14 inches 600 platinum, CUST from Dr. Pankaj Mishra. For bacteria, viruses, fungi. 312 inches 180 sulfur, CUST from Dr. Pankaj Mishra. For liver, bile, skin, wounds. 256 inches 180 vitami na defi sciency, CUST calf anecdotal. 2100, 9120, 15200, 23500, 33297, 28750, 26440, 22530381 vitamin B12 deficiency, cast calf anecdotal. Use also for vitamin B deficiency. 50. 6,560,160 C Vitami N C Defi Sciency, C U S T C A F L Anecdotal. 2100, 11,680, 29,500, 23,750, 15,420, 34,065, 5,009, 39,375. 36 C Vitami N D Defi Sciency, C U S T C A F L Anecdotal. 2890, 3740, 9920, 33270, 40,000, 28750, 25000, 37 million 233340 C Vitami N Defi Sciency, A Vitami N C S, C U S T Calf Anecdotal. 2400, 4420, 7360, 15,000, 37,500, 28,750,333 Cancer BXBY, Cust, 3, from JW. Must be run at 782,937.42 Hz to hit BX and by simultaneously. This I, 
4 FFF. Back to contents, 121, but I'm not quite finished yet. When Spooky 2 launches, it reads the main database to memory first. Then it adds the custom database by tacking it onto the bottom of the main file. If I leave things as they are above, and later add another bunch of cancer sets, my searches for cancer will find them all, but those from my custom database may not be in correct alphabetical order. So at this stage I select the entire line of the new entry, then choose cut from the notepad edit menu. I insert the cursor in the correct alphabetical sorting position in the custom file for the new set, in this case, it's right at the top, then I choose paste from the edit menu. And this is what I get, test custom, notepad, O, file edit format view help, 0, cancer bxby, cust, 3, from jw. Must be run at 782,937.42 Hz to hit BX and buy simultaneously. This I know GAU, CUST from Dr. Pankak Mishra Universa. Slash base frequency. 1.14 inches 600 piatinum, cussed from Dr. Pankaj Mishra. For bacteria, viruses, fungi 312-180 sulfur, CUST from Dr. Pankaj Mishra. For liver, bile, skin, wounds. 256 inches 180 vitamin A deficiency, CUSTCAFL anecdotal. 2100, 9120, 15200, 23500, 33297, 28750, 26440. 22530381 Vitamin B12 Deficiency, CUSTCAFL Anecdotal. Use also for Vitamin B Deficiency. 50, 6560160 C Vitamin C Deficiency, CUSTCAFL Anecdotal. 2100, 11680, 29500, 23750. 15,420, 34,065, 5,009, 39,375, 36 C Vitamin N D Deficiency, C U S T C A F L Anecdotal, 2890, 3740, 9920, 33,270, 40,000, 28,750, 25,000. 37,233,340 C Atamin Deficiency, A Vitaminosis, C U S T C A F L Anecdotal. 2400, 4420, 7360, 15000, 28,750,333, N R. Finally, I check to see that the blank line at the end of the file is still there. If it's not, Spooky2 will report a loading error when it tries to read the custom database file because it expects to see a carriage return new line control character at the end of every line, including the last one. I check by clicking into the space below the last line. If the cursor appears, as it does above circled in red, then I'm OK to go ahead and save the file. If not, I must position the cursor at the very end of the last entries line, vitamin deficiency, a vitaminosis, above, then hit the return key on my keyboard. This gives me a new blank line at the bottom of the file. Once you've done this a couple of times, you'll find it's faster and less bewildering than using the database editor. Back to contents, 122, global menu, these four commands allow you to control the transport of multiple generators with a single operation. With four generators, you can start or stop them all at the same time by choosing a command here rather than opening the channels one after another. File database, one global online utils advanced menu help, start clear, search. Abdominal creek abdominal or abdominal par abdominal far rd uscra 72, 9190304 hold florida, 2720, 2489, 2170, 18 Florida, 10,000, 3,000, 95, 3, 3P 5,000 Australian pounds, 10,000, 1. Choose start to fire up all the generators in your Spooky2 rig at the same time. File database search, 
global online utils abdominal creek abdominal or abdominal par abdominal par start pause hold stop advanced menu help clear point one nine zero three hundred four fax twenty seven twenty twenty four eighty nine twenty one seventy eighteen florida ten thousand three thousand ninety five three three r a five thousand ten thousand two Choose pause to temporarily stop all the generators without losing positions reached in their programs. File database search, global online utils abdominal creek abdominal iri abdominal a abdominal far, start, pause, hold, stop, advanced menu help clear, L, pound LA 72, 9190304 Florida, 2720, 2439, 2170, 13 Florida, 10,000, 3,000, 95, 3, 3 Pennsylvania, 5,000, 10,000, 3. Choose hold to remain on current frequencies on all generators, stays in force until you choose hold again. File database global online search, start, pause hold stop abdominal creek abdominal or abdominal a abdominal par, utils advanced menu clear, L, help, PA 72, 9,190,304 Florida, 2720, 2489, 2170, 18 Florida, 10,000, 3,000, 95, 3, 3RA 5,000, 10,000, 4. Choose stop to end programs on all your generators at the same time. Back to contents, 123, online menu, if your PC is connected to the internet, these six commands will be very useful for Spooky2 related tasks. For each command, Spooky2 will launch your browser, or open a new window tab if it's already launched. File database global online utils advanced menu help, search purchase equipment, download database view videos Spooky2.com The Spooky2 forum Spooky2 Facebook page Abdominal cramps, abdominal inflammate, abdominal pain, abdominal pain, abscess, no cardia is abscesses, two abscesses, three. File database global online one utils advanced menu HELPL. Search purchase equipment. Download database. I abdominal cramps. Abdominal inflammate, abdominal pain, J abdominal pain, abscess, no cardia is abscesses, two abscesses, three L. View videos spooky2.com, the spooky2 forum, spooky2 Facebook page. 1. This will take you to the Clean Energy website where you do. This will take you to the Spooky2.com downloads page, can buy all the components of the Spooky2 Rife system and download the latest database to your downloads folder. File database search, global online utils advanced menu help, abdominal cramps abdominal inflammate abdominal